Hi folks, Trev here. I'm going to teach you how to play the guitar. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play every single major chord with just one finger. Um, every chord has three notes. It has the first, the third, and the fifth. So in the case of, for example, C major, it has the first note, which is C. It then has the third note, which is C, D, E. It then has the fifth note, which is C, D, E, F, G. So C, E, and G. So that stands for every major chord. And all you need in that case is three notes to play any chord. So I have a tutorial from before how to play the chord A, which is like this. You take this finger and you press it against the fret like that for the second string third string and the fourth string and you get a major so the trick to play to use that one chord to play any other chord is as follows if you cover the last string with your thumb and you cover the second last string cover this string with the top of this finger so you kind of mute it and you mute that one you've now got those literally you're just playing those three notes there the second string third string and fourth string okay so that's a that's also a but if you want to play a sharp you can just move it up one so you now have um f a sharp and d and that's a sharp and this is b c c sharp d and um, d sharp e f f sharp g and g sharp so the trick though is if you strum that for a it sounds fine but if you go to say e flat and strum it it doesn't work so you have to mute all your notes except the tree on this finger so you mute them by putting your thumb around your top finger off the second last string and then you mute the last or the first not the first string and um, by not pressing the whole way down on the note so if you just mute them all I might be strumming all the strings but can only hear the tree there so B or A B C D F and back to A um, a good trick you should learn as well is to try and play that chord or those three notes using your other fingers as well so as opposed to playing like this play like this with the other barring three strings with your third finger and then if you want to just shake it a little bit it might sound a bit better as well the other thing you can do is is you can actually play the, the last note so it turns the chord then into a minor chord so if you then play let's say these four notes the last four are the, the top four that's now a sixth or else it's called f sharp um, because f sharp minor it's called a sixth because you are playing f sharp with an a chord and f sharp is the sixth note with an a chord or if you play f sharp minor it's just a basic it's actually f sharp minor seventh the seventh um there's eight notes in the scale so if you go down one note let's say for example on A, it'll bring you, or one note in the scale, it will bring you to, um, back down to G. And if you do it in F sharp minor, it'll bring you down to, to E. And you have an E in an A. So really, A6, it's the same as F sharp minor. But it gives you a good kind of funky sound. So, you can then try it up the neck as well, with D or B minor. And then if you again flick over to the other finger
Thanks folks, I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions put them in the comment section.